Hi, I'm Jenny Oaks Baker from America's Violinist YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to talk about my what kind of keeps me going as a musician, as a performer, as a violinist. Um, I've always just loved performing. I've always hated practicing, but I've loved performing. And I've been blessed to be able to have a lot of performances that have kind of kept me going and kept me charged and enjoying the, um, all the music in my life. Um, my mother noticed from a young age that I loved to perform, and so she um, wanted me to practice. And so she would make cookies for the neighborhood children and invite them over to um, a little concert of me practicing. <laughs> and they got little refreshments, so she would lure them in with the cookies and keep them there while I practiced. So I thought that I was performing, and that, that was motivating for me. So I've always just loved performing. I'm grateful to my mom for creating performances left and right. Anytime people came to the home for a dinner or to stop by, I always, she'd always have me perform and that kept me motivated. Um, and also kept me just loving performing. Um, I do get stressed when I perform still. Um, I do get a little bit of stage fright, but I feel like that actually means I care. And I get a little worried when I don't have the, that adrenaline rushing through my body. That means that I don't care. But I always do, so I do care, and I think it helps me perform better. It also keeps me close to God, because it makes me really, really rely on Him and His blessings and pray for those blessings, and that keeps me humble and keeps me knowing that I do need God's help. And I'm grateful for that way to really constantly rely on the Lord. Um, as far as managing the stress of a performing life, I just do my best to be prepare myself. There's a scripture that says, if ye are prepared, you need not fear. And so I just try to be prepared, and then I know I don't need to be fearful if I'm prepared. And so I do my best to prepare, and sometimes I don't feel like I have enough time to prepare, and so I do my best, and then I just turn it over to God, and hope that I know that He'll make up the difference if I've given my best, and if I'm engaged in worthwhile activities, and not just shopping. <laughs> if I were just out shopping and playing and not being prepared, I don't think he could bless me as much as if I've done my very best and kept my priorities in line and I just reach out to him for a little extra boost of help. Um, I don't always perform perfectly. I always, I always try to do my best. I'm not always perfect. Um, but sometimes good things can come from those imperfect performances. I once performed up in Idaho I'm a concerto, and I thought I was prepared, and I played really well the first night, and I didn't play well the second night. And um, this college girl, I was with an orchestra at a, at a university, and this college girl came up to me after I, I messed up pretty badly on stage. I kept going, but it wasn't perfect. And she said, um, I'm so grateful for that performance. And I said, why? And because it was really awful. And she said, because I didn't, I kind of messed up my graduation recital and I didn't think I could be a musician. But after, after experiencing your performance, now I know I can. <laughs> and so my inability to be perfect at that performance may have changed her life. So sometimes good things come um, from messing up. I know when I was younger and at Curtis Institute of Music, I had a really terrible performance. And it really made me reflect on how I prepared for that performance and made me a better performer in the future. There's a scripture, Ether 12, 27, that says, I will show unto you your weakness um, if you come unto me, and I'll make weak things become strong unto you. And I think if we are centered in, in our faith, then our weaknesses can become our strengths. Um, and I'm grateful for that. Um, but I'm just grateful for the joy I feel when I perform. I'm grateful. A lot of times, especially when I play sacred music, I can feel the love of God for everyone in the audience as I'm kind of a, a vessel or a conduit for God's love through music. And that's an incredible feeling. When I was younger, you know, I loved the applause and, and the standing ovations and everything, and those are great. But what I really love now is feeling a real connection to God and to others and to music. and to humanity when I perform and being able to feel just the love of God for others and feel this unity back and forth between the audience is really what I love most about performing now. So I hope you found that interesting. Please subscribe to my American Stylinist YouTube channel, the video channel.
video blog channel and also my Jenny Oaks Baker music video channel and follow the links below. Thanks so much.